So I personally enjoy the planning and execution of projects, engaging with the other teams or our teams, the contract, the other contractors, the trades and the clients, trying to find ways that we can deliver a project safely, which is our main priority within the quality specs and on time, which is a big one. Also coming off the tools, I used to enjoy hanging and banging and still it's kind of like playing with a giant Lego set, so, which I still play with my kids. So yeah, no, it's all around good times. GGE has always been a very strong team dynamic, particularly around toolbox meetings and stuff like that. We're really encouraging our staff to get involved. They've found their voice, they're engaging. Yeah, it's just great to see the team work together. We have a massive focus on development and allowing our teams to have a voice, which really comes in handy when it comes to planning and execution of projects, and also when we come across issues and how we can address them. I can't, we can't achieve these jobs without our teams and everybody playing their integral parts in the business. Um, and with the site team specifically, we have the likes of Jeff Atutolu and Iri Rangituti at the helm of this project, with a lot of support from our crane suppliers, Selwyn Gibbons from Ashton Crane. So this is a 22,000 square meter, 900 ton warehouse for logos. We were approached by Apollo Projects to execute this project within four months, which GG rose to the challenge and we are scheduled to deliver by mid-May. Uh, what we had on this project is all the Perlin fast bracing was a bolted connection. Um, the way we've built this is big, large roof modules and having bolted braces meant we didn't have to redesign bolted connections into those braces. Due to the time frame in which we had to complete this project, we needed to find the best possible way to erect it by having these 23 meter purlins that allowed us to cover a lot of roof area and completing them safely on the ground, which is not putting the workers at risk in the air. So on this job, Steel and Tube provide the purlins and the girts, uh, all from their HST line. So purlin pearl and girts provide um, part of the structure but most importantly, they're what the cladding fixes do. The design of this project requires that the purlins span over two bays, which makes the purlins 23 metres long. Steel and tube being able to manufacture and deliver those purlins was a large part in the decision to use them on this project. At the end of the day, we are creating spaces for people to operate safely. So quality is a major because we need to ensure that we're working within the parameters of 5131 to ensure that the structure is sound, it's maintaining its integrity and that the occupants have a safe environment to complete their work in. So quality is important to us because in this industry, you're only as good as your last job. However, GGE has been working hard on redeveloping our purpose and our vision, and we want that to be simply building success.